Career tips for software testers. Today we're going to go through how to set up your technical profile, how to have a show and not tell step. So previously we've gone through the command line and GitHub and trending tools in the job hunting market and now we're trying to bring it all together to show in your profile. You want to have a show approach, not just say you know how to do something, but being able to have something you can demonstrate with. So this is our first point today. The first thing you should do is set up your GitHub profile. Uh, and you should have like a couple of repositories that you're playing around with. This is your demonstration of a technical person. This here, your GitHub profile, is your tech credibility. Without a GitHub profile, it's really hard to assess your technical skills and expertise. I'm not all that active on my GitHub profile just yet, but that's because we have an internal corporate GitHub repository for the project I'm working on right now. Uh, but being familiar with these tools really demonstrates I'm a technical savvy employee. And uh, there's uh, GitHub recently released, just two weeks ago, a way to do a README for your GitHub profile. I'll have a tutorial later on in how to create this README. Um, but for example, this blog post is a good walkthrough of how to set up a GitHub profile README. It's basically, you create a repository with your own profile name, and then you can create a README and set up whatever markdown you like in that README to demonstrate your profile. There are some really cool Readmes out there, and this feature is very new. It's only a week and a half. So for example, Jason Linkstoff has got this awesome uh, GitHub uh, README profile. You should definitely have a look for some others and really consider adding a README to your GitHub profile. And I'll be doing this again over this weekend and uh, walking through a demo of how to do it with my profile. Um, you could also do a blog post on some technology you're learning. This is another way to show your technical skills. So I wanted to learn how to deploy a MySQL instance to a Google Cloud server. And so I created this blog post on how to use the command line with MySQL. So if you see the previous uh, the video two uh, ago about command line tools, um, doing you can do MySQL from the command line and it's pretty cool. So I created this blog post going through that process. This is another way you can show and not just tell. You could also put together a video on YouTube exploring a new technology. So for example, when I was learning how to do page object model and C sharp with Selenium, I created this uh, video, I streamed it to Twitch, and all I was doing was following this online tutorial with uh, of walking through how to set up a page object model project with C Sharp. All I did was walk through those same tutorials, put together a repository on GitHub, and documented my process. This was created uh, about this time last year and has had 285 views. So when I get to the interview stage and someone is asking me about my experiences with C Sharp and Selenium, I have an example I can call to mind. I can actually watch this for my interview prep as a way to refresh a lot of that information when it came to that technical interview. And I have actually used uh, this video when applying for technical roles. Um, around that time, uh, March last year, I was, I was job hunting and I uh, ended up getting the role I was uh, I got right now. So having an online profile really helped to get through that job hunting process. Even if all you're doing is following an online tutorial, you can add those projects to your GitHub or document it in any way that suits you. Um, you don't need a certificate to establish your technical credibility. I don't have any certificates and I'm still regarded as a fairly tech savvy person in the industry and I've managed to be fairly successful in my career so far. Um, and the certificates don't really help you stand out as an individual. It's just another way that you can demonstrate that you have technical skills, but I prefer to have a show and tell approach. So there you go today. That's uh, We've discussed how to set up your online profile so you can demonstrate your tech credibility. Um, it's really important in today's job market. For some reason, businesses are always demanding uh, developer in-test related skills, um, and you need to be able to show or demonstrate that you have that technical credibility with most job ads that I've seen on the market so far. So thank you.